By the time I was uh, 21, I was married, uh, pregnant, ran off from my husband, and uh, by the time I was uh, 23, I was doing, uh, I was tooting cocaine. By the time I was 24, I was shooting heroin. In 1998, an estimated 950,000 women were under the care, custody, or control of federal, state, or local corrections. That's almost one out of every 109 adult women. Listen to some of their stories. I went to, to jail 10 years ago, and um, it was behind a man that, uh, because of naivety, I just didn't know what was going on. I'm an addict. I've been an addict for 26 years of my life. I started at 12 years of age, and basically all of my life, I think it stems from not feeling loved, uh, not finding an identity, you know, knowing who you are. I never really knew who I was. My mother, by the time I was 11 months old, had given me to my great-grandparents. and. Uh, my great-grandparents, along with that side of the family, was all passing for white. And of course, I couldn't. I'm cute, but I couldn't pass for white. And uh, I was somewhat ostracized, except for my cousins that lived next door. So I was raised with them, uh, virtually. I didn't know my uh, brother. I didn't know my dad. My mom, I'd see her on occasion. But by the time I was seven, my father and sister and brothers had burned up in a house fire. And it was rumored that my mother did that. So I lived, you know, not wanting to get close to somebody because they start making fun of me about the way I dressed. Uh, just like the first drink, it was exciting. I mean, you know, not getting caught and continue to uh, participate in crime and not getting caught. I had a 31 year sentence and I actually had to sit for 13 months. It took 13 months of appeal and um, fighting this case, going back and forth to court and just getting it overturned, actually. So um, 13 months of, of schooling is what I call it. Um, I learned a lot about the women, actually. Well, first of all, I think my eyes were open to reality. There were some things that were going, uh, going on around me that I just had no clue I mean, I was living in a neighborhood that uh, prostitution was going on right at the end of my corner. And from not, that's not my life, that wasn't my life, so I just drove right by it and went to the freeway. And just, it was just oblivious to me. I started using drugs at the University of California, Riverside, while I was working on a degree in anthropology. Uh, drug usage does not attack just poor people or black people. It attacks all kinds of people. My first drug was marijuana. And, well, I consider alcohol a drug also. So I think I started with drinking and was raised, you know, basically in an alcoholic home. I, I was experiencing a degree of success in my business. Um, I, I, I noticed that I was uh, drinking a little more and a friend who owned a restaurant here in Dallas, and uh, um, I was sitting at the bar one uh, evening, and he said, you've drank too much. I said, you know, uh, how, do you, how do you determine how much I drink? I'm buying. Since 1990, the number of female defendants convicted of felonies in state courts has grown at more than two times the